How to build a business Warren Buffett would buy is an unlikely story that starts in America's heartland in the early 1900s and ends on Wall Street in the late 1990s. It begins in 1917 with a kid, a 17-year-old kid named Rufus Call Willie, who dropped out of school in 1917 to work for the power company, putting up power poles and connecting lines between them. Didn't take him long to figure out he could make a lot more money selling electrical appliances than he could wiring. In the early 1950s, he built a little cinder block, 600 square foot storefront. Had a couple of windows in the front and he stocked appliances there. And that's the way the business was when a kid named Bill Child comes along. He's RC's son-in-law. And on the day he graduated from college with his teaching certificate in 1954, RC wanted to talk to him. And RC handed me the keys and he said, we're going to go to California and rest. I've got an ulcer and I want to take care of it. And I wished him well and uh, he left. About five days later, here he comes back. And uh, we were informed that he wasn't well. A couple of days later, he went into the hospital and, of course, never came into the store again. Bill Child didn't have any experience in running a business. And he decided to learn business as you go. And one of the rules he established right in the beginning was a rule of frugality. Uh, he would never borrow money. Uh, he'd never have a mortgage. You should treat customers the way you want to be treated. And he just started following these very simple, common sense principles that he didn't learn from a textbook. Remarkably, by the early 1990s, he had turned a 600 square foot cinder block store doing $225,000 a year into a company that was worth close to $200 million. I can remember, I think it was 27 years before we hit the first million in sales. And uh, then three years later, we were at the second million. And consequently, now we do uh, 18, 16 to 18 million in a good day. I was sitting at my desk one late, late one afternoon, and uh, the phone rang, and uh, I picked up the phone, and he said, Bill, this is uh, Warren Buffett. I just talked to Irv, and he said, you have a interest, might have an interest in selling your company. Well, five or six days later, I get a FedEx, and it said, you have a jewel of a company that fits our mold perfectly. I'll have you a price in three days. One of the uh, advantages of selling to Warren was that uh, I was able to uh, approach the most brilliant mind, business mind in the world, in my opinion. It seems like when I was talking to Warren, I always come away with a half a dozen uh, good thoughts. He's so practical, and yet he's so, he, he just understands business. He understands people. Warren uh, has a criteria. You have to have, uh, number one, profitability. Number two, uh, a history. He likes no debt. He likes people that he can trust and that have integrity and we hope that we feel fit in that category. He likes an industry that he understands, and there's nothing more basic than buying and selling, uh, filling homes with wonderful furniture. And had I have known what a blessing it was going to be, I probably would have been thrilled to death to have taken less money than he had offered us. <laughs> uh, I remember we were, uh, we were talking about different endings mm -hmm. and at one point we got to this great story with you and, and Warren and Bill Gates at Augusta and w why don't you tell the story? What happened? Well, a uh, dream of a lifetime to be able to play Augusta and t uh, during the, uh, after the first nine holes I stopped into the men's room and it was right next to the card room and uh, one of the fellows said, you know we have quite a foursome out here. We have Bill Gates, we have Warren Buffett, we have Tom Murphy, and we have some other guy. And I walked out of there and I thought, I'm the other guy. That's something. <laughs> How to build a business Warren Buffett would buy. The R.C. Willie story, coming in April 2009.